What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel Zaynomics Gaming. Today we are talking about auto rifles, 360 round per minute auto rifles to be exact. Now there is a little disclaimer here. I do not have every 360 round per minute auto rifle in the game, but they are all feeling very well. Um, the ones that I have anyways, of course, I do not have the new 360 round per minute auto rifle that released inside of Crota's End, but I digress. We're not really going to touch on exotics too much. Um, for the most part, we will be touching on the legendaries and they feel very, very good. Um, all the auto rifles feel pretty good, but the 360 round per minute, they just have so much range, especially with the changes that they made inside of season 21 with the damage fall off start distances. So now you can expect your auto rifle to hit max at 39 meters or 39 and a half meters, depending on how much range you have. And with the 360 round per minute, you really are hitting that limit. Like you're pretty much capped out. We will go over some numbers here shortly, but the auto rifles themselves feel fantastic. You can play that long range. Um, it, they hit like a truck. They flinch your opponents to no end. Um, of course, the easiest one to get is Lodbrock. We will talk about that as well. Now, Lodbrock C is basically a rehashed version of Half Dan. Um, it performs very well. It performs very similar. Um, it does have new perks, of course, and it does have that hockey origin trait. This weapon could also roll with target lock and is very easy to get. It's usually just a world drop, but most of the time Banshee is selling it. That's pretty much where I pick up all of my rolls from. I just pick up the rolls from Banshee. Now for Lord Broxy, if you could get a range stat around the 90s, um, you will be capped at around that 38 meter um, for damage fall off. And that, that's perfect. Uh, you really don't need no more than that. I mean, these weapons, uh, all of the 360s, if you can get, it's easy to get that amount of range. But if you can get that amount of range, the weapon's very consistent. You're hitting for higher damage and you don't have to be all up close in your opponent's face to get the kill. Um, it, it just feel they feel really good. They feel really, really good. Um, you are hitting for a time to kill anyways at 0.8 seconds with five crits, one body. If they're tier six and under, you could get it with four crits and two body. Um, and like I said, they just feel so sticky. They feel really good, uh, especially on a uh, controller mouse and keyboard. They feel pretty good as well. The flinch isn't there like you would normally feel using a controller but other than that the weapon themselves feel phenomenal now there are a bunch of different perks that you can get um like i said we're not really this really isn't a god roll guide video but if i was going to go for a roll i would definitely go with either fluted barrel just because i like the i like the handling i like to have that better handling if you get fluted barrel you're up in the 50s the weapon still feels like a aggressive assault rifle uh it, to me um and then for that second trait column you're going to want to go with high caliber rounds or ricochet rounds for that third trait column it's really up to you it depends on what you're using the weapon for you got fourth times the charm perpetual motion demolitionist dynamic sway of course if you're playing for pvp i prefer dynamic sway or perpetual motion it's really up to you target lock perfect you don't really need it but it works very well cascade point is the only trait that i have not had drop with this weapon all of the 360 round per minute auto rifles feel phenomenal, but like I said, all auto rifles feel really good as well, and they are the ultimate newbie weapon. Um, of course, every game I usually play with, whether it be Call of Duty, when, it, when I'm new to something, I always gravitate towards the auto rifle because it's the easiest weapon to get, I, I guess you could say, experience with. Um, hand cannons, they take a little bit more practice. Auto rifles, you can kind of just go in there, play a little smart, and you'll be able to get some kills. And that's usually the way most people play um, in hindsight, especially with a lot of new players. So if you're a new player, um, definitely pick up or try to get one of these 360 round per minute auto rifles. And if you can't get one of those, any auto rifle will really do. 450s are doing really well, 600s, um, the 720s, especially Quicksilver Storm, is absolutely nasty right now. And really why they feel so good is because Bungie has taken away the damage fall off distance and decoupled it from the zoom stat. So now to compensate for that, Bungie has actually lifted the floor well, the range essentially for auto rifles and uh, they feel really good. Um, right now they are competing very high, especially with the maps that we have. Most of our maps are pretty small slash medium range. 
You don't really need to have anything like a scout rifle. Scout rifles hitting around 80, 90 meters. Um, is it nice to have? Sure. But most of us play in that mid range area and pulse rifles and uh, assault rifles or auto rifles. They, um, they're the epitome of a new newbie weapon. Um, if you go into a new game, most of the time, if you're new to a first person shooter or anything like that, you're going to gravitate towards the auto rifle. They're just easier to use auto rifles, pulse rifles. They're easier to use. And like in this game, for example, with hand cannons, they take a little more skill to use. You can peek and you could tell the players that are better at certain weapons. So I'm not that great at hand cannons. You know, I like them. I wouldn't say that I'm a god with them. I definitely play around that pulse rifle, scout rifle, auto rifle realm more so than any other area or any other base weapon inside of Destiny 2. And I think most new players um, have that same experience. They want to gravitate towards the auto rifle first. And I will say these 360 round per minute, especially with the high damage, um, you don't have to play up close. You can kind of stay out of sight a little bit. Those are really performing very well. 450s as well, but the 360s, I was blown away with how much range they have now and the damage that they are actually putting out. 0.8 second time to kill, and you could be almost 40 meters away. You can't beat it. That's going to do it for the video, guys. If you haven't picked up an auto rifle in this season yet, definitely pick one up and try it out inside of PvP. They're feeling absolutely phenomenal, um, especially the 360s. Like I said, the 360s, man, they're feeling really good. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you're new here, consider liking the video. Also, subscribing to my channel. It's a free way to support me, and I greatly appreciate it. I will see you all in the next video.